Hey, good evening, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's taking this time to enjoy that evening and getting ready for the next day tomorrow. As always, I want to say thank you for those who've been tuning in to the site, Rebuilding Community Trust, and the uh, channel. This has finally been a year. Uh, we um, celebrate this year for uh, RBC and the fact that we took a um, step on faith to go out here and to start this channel. And um, it was a big step for me. I had to pray on it a lot to start this. But I felt the passion and um, desire to start this and educate those out here. Um, a lot of material so far. I'm on SoundCloud. I'm on Spotify. One Cash Radio. Simple Radio. Um, YouTube. Pantheon. I'm moving over to Pantheon. Um, and also I'm on Facebook. Instagram. So for those who are new, welcome. Building Community Trust. Also my website is www.rebuildingcommunitytrust.org. Please check out all the material that we have so far, all the videos and all the different uh, blogs and stuff that I wrote is on there. So please check it out. Also for YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell to get those notifications and updates on new materials coming out. Also, the library is on there for all the stuff I've done so far. So you want to check it out and share it, please share it. As I continue to develop and come with new ideas for the web page and for the site itself, um, definitely will keep everyone posted. And um, how are we going forward to make this year a better year? So real quick, I'm not before you long. I just want to talk about a few things, some stuff that I've uh, came out with um, that I feel like y'all need to know. Um, one thing for the coronavirus, I just want to make sure that, you know, I know there's been a lot of news media on it. A lot of people has been talking about it from all angles. I just want to just say real quick that just hoping everyone's taking the time to sanitize and to make sure that you have all your supplies. Biggest thing with the coronavirus, you know, is just keeping your immune system up, making sure you practice social di social distancing and making sure that you're here to what's going on around you. Um, God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but with a uh, power, love and a sound mind or in other translations, self-control. So you get to choose on how you think, you get to choose how you respond. You can panic or you can use this time to be productive. So take the time while you off. I know a lot of people are from school, work, and they have a lot of time teleworking. And doing the jobs at home, just take this time to think about your business plan. How can you be better? How can you be more productive? How can you become more self-aware? Think about the things that you can do for yourself and your family. Use this time wisely. For, for time, you can't get back. You can get everything else back, but you can't get time back. So let's take this time, instead of worrying about the coronavirus, let's focus on uh, self-productivity. Let's be, let's be better than what we were. Let's go come up with a plan. Um, investments, investments, uh, stocks is going down, crashing. A lot of investments are coming out that you can invest in if you have the money for it. Amazon, as I checked yesterday, they're $1,900 for shares. Go ahead, if you got that type of money, purchase and go ahead and start investing some stocks, start getting it while it's good. This is the time because because the market crash, this is the probably the best time to start investing because stuff is going to be at a lower level as far as price. And then when the stocks go back up, your, your, um, your, your money goes up. So think about these things. So find a way to be better. Write that book. Go back to school. Best time with your family, with your kids and your spouses or your girlfriends, boyfriends. Take this time to really reflect on what you need to do. Don't use this opportunity to worry and panic about catching a, a virus. Not saying you shouldn't be proactive. Not saying you shouldn't be prepared. But again, if you got to move out here in these streets, you got to do what you got to do. So with that being said about the coronavirus, I um, just want to talk about a few things about the elections coming up 2020. I'm not going to be before you very long. Did some research. Um, I don't know if people have been paying attention to the Democratic debates, although it was done in a, um, in a screened audience and, and there's not nobody really there. A lot of points brought up, you know, so um, you just got to think about what what they're saying. When we voting, you know, November 3rd, it's not just for the president. It's for all Congress. You know what I'm saying? There's this. You got your state governor. Some people are voting for their states, Republican or Democrat. Get to know your groups. Um, look at your look at what is being talked about. You know what I'm saying? And and we a lot of times we make the elections about a race thing. You know, we obviously you African American, you're a minority. You know, you're going to vote for Democrat more so Republican, and vice versa. If you're more rich or you're more on the wealthy side, you want to vote for Republican. But let's not look at that. Let's look at everything. What is passion to you? You know, there's some categories that I was looking up as I've been studying and, and looking over these things, because I, I mean, at some point I'm going to be voting, too. So I need to know what my values and beliefs that I need to look at in these candidates if I'm going to vote. And a lot of things, again, I won't say it. Let's look at Christian values. You know, let's look at 
pro-choice. You know what I'm saying? Some people are for abortions. Some people are not for abortions. For Christians, I mean, we'll be pro-life. So I'm going to think about not about abortions. Think about uh, prayer in schools. Think about uh, how it's going to work with um, with, with ch- giving churches and, and stuff to their um, protections for churches for not having no f- uh, 5013C removed for, for certain things. There's a lot of stuff that um, as a as a Christian, you know, we can we think about, but also not only just for that. Let's look at you know social justice, um, the criminal justice um, aspect of dealing with these candidates. You know, the, a lot of people talk about the marijuana legalization law. A lot of people talk about the um, what Trump passed this law where you know they're trying to decrease their prison population. Is that something that the Democrats want to support or not? They also talk about how these gun control laws, these gun laws. I know Virginia passed assault ban rifle law or its bill and it got denied by the Senate. The biggest key players that we're voting for needs to be in the Senate. You know what I'm saying? They got Congress. You got 435 seats, House of Rep, House of Representatives. You got 35 of the 100 seats in the U.S. Senate and, and then your presidential candidates. So and Congress is just an important. These people you need to be voting for. A lot of people just vote for the president or they vote for the city, I mean, city council, uh, your governors. Um, your, your sheriffs, you got your your Supreme Court justices, you got your uh, local judges and justices. So you got all these different avenues or different um, people to vote for. So you need to look at this stuff. Look at social justice. Look at voting rights. Look at corporate power, health care. If you think of corporate power, you're thinking about businesses, tax cuts, tax breaks, making sure the middle class and, and the lower class get a tax break so they can minimum wage. You know, all this stuff, Medicare, Medicaid, they got a stimulus package now that is, I don't know if they voted on it yet, but they probably have already did was increase Medicaid and Medicare for those who need it to provide those meals for homes. Um, not meal for homes, but meal for the kids needy while they're out of school. A lot of the, a lot of states are out of school because of this coronavirus. Um, these are these type of things we need to think about. Healthcare with the coronavirus, one of the things that um, uh, the, the one of the candidates spoke about was that the fact that the WHO, they didn't have uh, opportunity to provide a test for the coronavirus. The U.S. wanted their own test. You know, in that aspect, you know what I'm saying, when you have a, a national organization trying to provide you uh, assistance as far as testing for the coronavirus, and, you know what I'm saying, we, we paying money to make our own, not saying it's wrong, but look at these things because that affects our health care. What, what are the candidates going to do about the health care bills and making sure that they have stuff like this so when this epidemic that comes again from a different strain or whatever, what are they putting in place? Um, you're looking at education. You got the secretary of education. What are they doing for our schools? You know, what are the programs in place for funding as far as uh, getting our schools and our curriculums under order so we can be able to prepare our future, our youth, in order to be successful in the world? How, uh, you know, teach them, you know, the proper ways to go forward, whether it's going through college or whatever, so they can be successful. That's 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 you voting as a as a, a voter. It's your right to pick. You know, what I'm saying who you gonna pick for the secretary of education. You're looking at your district attorneys. I mean, so many different ways to look at it. City council, you know, for your local governments, it's in your city when your your state governments are where you live. All this stuff is important. So you need to pay attention to every candidate. Look at their issues. If you're looking at social justice, you're looking at um, you know uh, racial disparity. You're looking at religious freedom. I know a lot of the LGBTQI, those individuals, they, you know what I'm saying, they uh, have rights. A lot of these different things um, are, are, are social justices. How, how, what are we doing about our uh, criminal justice systems? What are we doing about our jails? What are we doing about our, uh, the, um, the children and family services, the funding? Uh, a lot of this funding, how much money they're going to put in into these organizations in order to be effective and increase um, potential and, and effectiveness in the community. Uh, that's why I talk about education, how much money is being willing to dump in the educational system so they can make schools better. <laughs> when you think about, um, you know, climate change, I mean, that's that's to some is a big deal, you know, about the climate change and what they're doing about the, the polar ice caps and what they're doing about um, pollution and, and using solar energy. You know, what I'm saying those things are important Just going from fuel, a fuelless society, oil based to maybe a solar or, or, or using the wind windmills to make hydroelectricity that's that's part of climate change those things that have something to do with it um so you just you just got to look at everything so as these elections approach start looking at what values for you what approves or what appeals to you because especially for the criminal justice aspect of it we have to think about these things marijuana is legalized all 50 states 
that's going to cut out a lot of risk. You know what I'm saying? If they, they're obviously going to tax it, just like they did alcohol, just like they do cigarettes. They're going to tax it, but what if they legalize all uh, marijuana for 50 states? That's going to cut down a lot of crime. That's going Because people will going to be able to legally purchase marijuana, and also it'll be taxed whether they let it allow it to be grown and distributed and sold. That's a different story. So that's one thing people don't understand. Student loan debt. Student loans. I know a lot of people affected by student loans debt. That's a big thing that I'm looking at. What are you going to do about the student loans? You know what I'm saying? Not just so much for the public. They got a program in place for the public student loans. But what can they do to offset the private ones? So that's the stuff that you just got to find which values you and make the best vote possible that you feel like you need to get involved in the process of voting for your 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 state governments, your Congress, um, president, whatever, whoever you choose to vote for, independent party, Republican, Democrat, third party, whatever. What are you going to pick for that suits you? Um, so that's just all I wanted to say about that, you know. <laughs> Take the time to look at these things, look, go to the Democratic, you know, just listen to what they're saying, whether it's Republican or Democrat or third party, whoever it is, listen to what they're saying and and and, and just take the time to um, uh, invest in, in that time to make a right decision for the government. Um, so, uh, elections called gubern gubernatorial races. That's a, that's a strange name, but that's what it's called. Um, for your governor, and I know it's, it's seven Republican and four Democratic seats up for election. So depending on the state you're in, this is a good time to get involved in your governor because they they involve your state law and your state government and, and everything else. They they dictate for that state what is going down as far as your laws and and your ordinances for each for each county and each jurisdiction in that state. So every every echelon is important, whether it's local, state, or federal. All the way up to the, to the uh, Supreme Court justices, to the Congress, to President, Executive Branch, Judicial, and your um, and, and your um, your Executive, Judicial, and your Legislative Branch. So take your time, look at these things. Um, far as coming up for the future, I'm working on um, another video with doing dealing with the uh, defects or the. Uh, the Children and Family Services um, and watching that. I don't know if people have been seeing it, but the Gabriel Fernandez, Trials of Gabriel Fernandez. It's on Netflix. That's my next one. I, I'm probably going to do a small review, but I'm probably going to talk about like the defect system and just get into that. So that's kind of be the next thing I'm going to tackle. Um, also, I'm going to talk about human trafficking. That's going to be another one that I'm going to tackle. I'm seeing a lot of stuff with that uh, in the news. And I'm seeing a lot of stuff. I've been, been talking about it, been hearing about it a lot. So I'm going to tackle that top topic there. And don't forget about, uh, forget about Inspirational Quote Wednesdays. That's going to be the next thing that I tackle as well. Um, I don't know what the topic's going to be yet, but I'm going to have, have one put on SoundCloud for you to uh, listen to. So that's all I have. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to be before you very long. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Please stay safe out here with the coronavirus. www.rebuildingcommunitytrust.org. I may go in there and make some smaller changes, add some um, different links. Um, YouTube, uh, if you haven't checked out any of the videos, Please go and check those out. Also, on we're building community trust on the Facebook page. It's where I'm moving everything over to. Um, Seems like I'm getting a lot more attention and views there. As far as, you know, people getting empowered and, and looked at. So go to the Facebook page if you want. Or you can go to YouTube. But everything's still the same. And also, for those who don't have time to watch videos, again, I'm on Anchor, Spotify, One Cash Radio, Simple Radio, and um, other streaming videos. And I can list them as well if you, if you want to just check out, pick which one you want. But mainly Anchor and Spotify, the ones that I, I usually use. And if you want to just download the audio clips and, and everything's converted over, you can download it for your listening pleasure. So be blessed. Thank you for your time. Be safe.